Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tech Gamers World. Well, it's snowing in the northeast portion of the United States of America, so you know what that means. We're stuck indoors. So what better way to spend some time than playing some virtual flying in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is being played on a Microsoft Xbox Series X. We're going to do some aerial acrobatics today around one of my favorite places to fly, New York City. So let's get it started here. We're going to be flying today with a Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS-1 flight stick. So I've got the flight stick connected up to my Xbox through the USB cable. So let's get it set up in position here. All right. So the first thing we need to do is tell Flight Simulator where we want to fly. So let's go ahead now and do that. So here is a map of the eastern portion of New Jersey in New York City. You can tell New York City here by the Manhattan Island with all the landmarks and stuff. Here's the Empire State Building. There's the Flatiron Building. There's the World Trade Center, the Brooklyn Bridge, the New York City Skyports, Chrysler Building, Times Square, Central Park, right there, Central Park, all that good stuff. We're going to take off today from Newark, New Jersey. So I'm going to select Runway 11 because that faces towards Manhattan, New York City, which is the way that we're going to go. So let's go ahead here and first select our plane. We'll be flying today in a plane that can do some acrobatics here. So I'm thinking I'm going to do the uh, Cub Crafters X Cub Red Bull plane here. This is always a pretty cool plane. It has a uh, very low flight time and very low range, but it's very lightweight and it can do a lot of cool stuff. So that's good. So let's go ahead here and get out of that. Next up, we need to specify our weather. So let's go over here, here to weather. We're going to set the weather as real time. And multiplayer will be live players. So we can see exactly who's hanging around. And runway. We'll go ahead and set a runway here. We'll set LaGuardia as our runway. So runway 13 will be our arrival point. So it says a normal flight time is 10 minutes from Newark Airport over to LaGuardia. But we're going to take a little longer because my flight plan is probably going to take us. We'll take off, fly east, fly over uh, the southern portion of Jersey City, Bayonne, out into the Hudson River, past the Statue of Liberty, Ellis Island, head uptown through the World Trade Center towards the Empire State Building do some tricks and acrobatic stuff along the way, and land at LaGuardia, all the meanwhile hoping we don't crash. So let's see how this goes. Weather is set for real time. It's freezing cold outside and snowing. Not sure how that'll be rendered in Flight Simulator because it's, it's always different. So let's uh, get it started here. So again, I'm flying today with the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS-1 flight stick. This is an amazing flight stick. If you check out some of my other videos here, you can see the Thrustmaster T-Flight HOTUS-1 flight stick unboxing reviews and in use for both fixed wing aircraft and helicopters. It is an all around awesome flight stick and is one of my favorites. I've logged thousands of hours on it across multiple games. Uh, it's just an all around really solid flight stick with a great entry level uh, price. So we're just waiting on the Xbox to load here. This again is being played on a Microsoft Xbox Series X. Alright, so it is overcast and snowing here. So they are instrument flight rules are in effect. VFR takeoffs are not permitted. So in my case though, I've already got takeoff clearances and all of that stuff here. So restricted view angle. Looking over the panel while on the ground may be difficult in this aircraft. Choose just camera settings, access the camera panel in the toolbar. That's fine. So what we can do is switch it to this view. Look at all the people flying today around 
New York City here. So as you can see, it is just nasty outside. So let's release the parking brake. Bring the engines up. And steer this plane. We are airborne. That was super quick. <laughs> to airborne. It went airborne on its own, actually. So we are airborne. So we gotta fly over to New York City now, which will take a few minutes because this is, again, not the world's fastest airplane. Flaps are set for zero, trim is set for negative two. There we go. You can see it is just nasty outside. I can see out my window and it is, in fact, still snowing here in Northern New Jersey. So I'll leave all air traffic control to be done on its own. One one nine or decimal two Tecumer one nine or eight two heavy. Goodbye. New York departure Tecumer one nine or eight two heavy one thousand two hundred feet. I'm gonna try and not talk over the radio. So the uh, messages will stop in a little while here. Let's see, we're heading over. Bayonne is that way, so Bayonne is down to the south of us there. We're heading east right now. There is Jersey City up there. Can't really see it. There it is. There is the Statue of Liberty, so we'll start out by buzzing by the Statue of Liberty. Then make a quick north turn to head over Ellis Island. So let's bring our speed down a little bit here. A lot of air traffic today. You're gonna have to watch when I'm flying here. The other people are doing the same thing I am flying and Exit 844 traffic is 8 o'clock tree miles at zero generic. Report them in sight. United Tree 6 tree traffic is it is just two miles at wicked nasty out generic. today. It's so cold, Report snowing. Them in sight. The Statue of Liberty here. And following heading two tree five, expect ILS Zulu runway four left approach by Kilma transition. Clear to Kilma. We'll do a nice quick flyby here of the Statue of Liberty. There she is, passing by right there. All right, let's see here. I'm kind of ignoring air traffic control here just to have some fun. New York departure exit at 684 is at 2,300 feet climbing, 6,000 feet. Let's exit do this. We'll buzz past the World Trade Center here and then head up northbound a little bit. We'll probably turn off to the left, uh, to the west, come back down the Hudson River, come around the World Trade Center and go underneath the Brooklyn Bridge over there. You can see it right there. So let's go ahead here and buzz past One World Trade Center. So this is Microsoft Flight Simulator being played on a Microsoft Xbox Series X. And just to set expectations here, this does have the Sam Scene 3D at New York Times add-on. 
which adds a lot of realistic stuff that does not normally exist with the New York City in Microsoft Flight Simulator onto this amazing game. Oh, way too fast. Gotta throttle it down here. So let's go ahead now and see if we can fly under the Brooklyn Bridge. So coming south of the World Trade Center and heading over the ferry here, which I'm not sure if we can see it, but there it is. That's South Ferry. Actually, there is a ferry there. So there is the Brooklyn Bridge. There is a heliport. This is an awesome place to land here if you fly helicopters. All right, we're going to fly underneath the Brooklyn Bridge here. See what happens here. This bridge too. Violated so many FAA flight rules. Good day. Probably would wind up in jail. United 1819er New York departure altimeter 29er decimal 74 radar contact continue to EZ04. So let's head uptown now and check out the Empire State Building. New York Center on one tree tree decimal one five. Good day. Buzz past that building. Exeget 684 contact New York Center on one tree tree decimal one five. See if I can show you Times Square here. Head up town a little bit. We'll head over to Times Square, the Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building. I've never seen so many people flying around here. Four four seven four traffic is ten o'clock, four miles at three thousand four hundred feet generic. Report them in sight. There is the Empire generic State Building. Four Alpha Delta Contact New York Center on one tree tree decimal one five. Good day. Lindbergh four four seven four have the generic. There's the flat iron building. Right to the right there. Tecmo one nine or eight two heavy. Please expedite your climb. There's Times Square. See it by all the brightly lit United stuff. Traffic is seven o'clock tree miles at two thousand three hundred feet generic. Report them in sight. There it is passing the Empire State Building. Give you a better view of it. There it is. And here is Times Square. So let's go ahead and fly straight through these buildings here. There's the building that they used for the ball drop. Alright, let's bring her down over by the Chrysler building.
Oh, my batteries are low on my controller. That's all right. Here is the Chrysler building. One of the iconic landmarks of New York City. All right. Ah, there's another bridge we can fly under. No, I'm not gonna. All right, let's start to head over to LaGuardia. To their central park. To the left is the Empire State Building. So we'll head up central over Central Park now. This is the east side. I'm going to do a low pass over the Met here. If you like museums, going to the Met is cool. Been there before, it's really neat. Definitely plan on spending at least a whole day there. There's the Met. Flying over it now. And the Jackie Onassis Reservoir. This is the largest lake in New York City. So, okay, so let's head over to LaGuardia. So LaGuardia is off to the east. There. You see, we are locked on to LaGuardia. Call sign RPA for four eight seven. Tacoma one nine or eight two heavy. Please expedite your climb two thousand feet. So this probably will result in a runway incursion. But given the fact that we've already violated pretty much almost every FAA uh, rule in the book by flying the way we have over New York City, we're probably gonna end up losing our pilot's license anyway. If it, if I actually had one. So let's uh, see if we can land this plane. Here it is, super windy. You can see New York City off in the distance there. Uh, apparently the uh, landing grid is on. The landing assistance is on, which I did not even specify. So I'm not sure why that's on, but that's alright. Don't need it anyway. Go ahead and put the 
Put the flaps down here to 16 degrees. I know, I'm too fast, that's right there. I like to land my planes fast and hard. There's a good landing speed. You gotta be careful with this plane because it can break fairly easily. Here we come. We're gonna have a nice smooth good touchdown day. on runway 13 at LaGuardia Airport. Right outside New York City. We'll bring the flaps down to help slow us. We're a nice, soft landing on runway 13. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. We did some aerial acrobatics over New York City during a snowstorm in the northeast portion of the United States of America. As always, if you could please click that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'm going to have new and exciting content from Microsoft Flight Simulator coming soon. And as always, if there's anything you would like to see, please drop a comment down below and I will do my best to get it answered or make it happen for you. Thanks a lot everybody, and I will see you around. Keep on gaming.